Today we are going to see about antennas and microwave engineering. According to 2017 regulations, the subject code is EC8701. Um, they give introduction to microwave systems and antennas. In second unit, radiation mechanisms and design aspects. In third unit, antenna arrays and applications. In fourth unit, passive and active microwave devices. And in fifth unit, microwave design principles. Let me see one by one. So before uh, we are going to see into the topic, first we should know what is antenna. Uh, because the subject name is antenna and microwave engineering, right? So first of all, we should know why we use antenna and what antenna will do. In generally, nowadays we are using uh, telephones, radio and uh, televisions. These are all communication devices. Have you ever wondered how these devices proceed informations? Mostly it will have transmission and reception. And for transmission and reception, it uses some signal. So that signal should be electromagnetic waves, right? So for transmitting and reception, it uses electromagnetic waves in communication devices. So these are all the, these are all uh, we know what, uh, what it will radiate. It will radiate electromagnetic waves. So uh, what is the source of this electromagnetic waves? This antenna will radiate electromagnetic waves, right? So what is the function of antenna means? Antenna will radiate electromagnetic waves into the free space or it will collect the electromagnetic waves from the free space. So that is the function of antenna. This, uh, this antenna only produce electromagnetic waves and we can call this antenna as a conductor or group of conductors it will radiate, couple or direct electromagnetic energy in the desired or assigned direction. So we can have uh, two types of directions. One is isotropic antenna, another one is an isotropic antenna. Coming to this isotropic means we can call it as omnidirectional or non-directional. That means it can radiate in all the directions. That is called isotropic. Coming to this anisotropic means directional. It can radiate the electromagnetic waves only in the desired direction. So that is the function of anisotropic. Here, uh, uh, note, note on this figure, uh, here I have uh, shown, this is cell tower, we are having antenna, it will radiate electromagnetic waves. The right side, we have a good line of sight. The left side, we have obstacle. This electromagnetic waves are absorbed by buildings and trees. So we can't able to get the entire information without any error. So we, ha we are having obstacles because uh, the nature of electromagnetic waves is it will be absorbed by any obstacle. It may be a buildings or trees. So that's why uh, we need to locate the cell tower at a very larger height. That's why we have a FM station which is located in hill stations, right? So this is the function of antenna. Next one is electromagnetic uh, spectrum. So already I have told this antenna will radiate electromagnetic waves. So uh, this is the figure of electromagnetic spectrum. Here I have mentioned 10 power 3 meter, 1 meter. These are all represent wavelength of the electromagnetic waves. And below we are having in terms of hertz. It represents the frequency of electromagnetic waves. So based on the frequency of electromagnetic waves, we can name it as radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, ultraviolet rays, x-rays and gamma rays. Right. So in this electromagnetic wave, mostly represented in terms of sinusoidal nature. So this is low frequency signals and these are high frequency signals. So it depends, upon, depends upon the frequencies, we can name it as radio waves. Low frequency signal is radio waves. So mostly radio waves are which is used by FM receiver. So we can access our radio and uh, it is used to hearing songs, right? So for radio waves, we are used uh, for a from receiver. The next one is microwaves. So this microwaves is little bit higher frequency when compared to the radio waves. Microwaves mostly used to, to 
detect the moving vehicle directions and it is mainly used in radar functions so radar means the function of radar is to find the missing sap uh, missing satellite location of the missing satellite we are using uh, this microwaves and also for tumor treatment we can use microwaves the next one is infrared rays so infrared rays means it will be generated from heat waves for example if you are having any muscle pain will give a heat it will produce heat if you are giving a heat the muscle pain will recover so that is the function of infrared waves the next one is visible light so it is nothing but a fluorescent light so in this uh, frequency only we have a visible light uh, that means um, in visible light only human eye can able to detect uh, object or able to see object clearly so below the visible light or above the visible light we can't able to see any objects that is the function of visible light next one is uv light so uv rays are mostly used to uh, Pre prevention of dehydrating the vegetables like you know, we are using U UV rays and uh, the nature of UV rays is less penetrate and it will be absorbed by any object so that's why human skin can absorb UV, UV rate so due to that uh, we have uh, getting skin cancer right so mainly the protection of uh, UV rays from sunlight is provided by ozone layer okay so this UV rays will be generated from the sun next one is x-rays so we know that uh, x-rays means it will mainly used to detect any bone fracture we are using this type of x-rays and gamma rays is, it is very highly penetrate uh, sometimes it will cause any damage to the human bone or whatever the internal structure so this is highly uh, uh, give a uh, damage to the human body or whatever the object which we are passing Th these are all the structures of electromagnetic waves so based on that uh, in low frequency we have radio waves so maximum at uh, high frequency when compared to the radio waves we have microwaves next one is infrared next to that visible light and uv rays x rays gamma rays so that's all about electromagnetic spectrum next see here so up to this infrared and visible light region up to this we can access microwave frequencies right so this is the function of general description of microwaves next one is microwave frequency bands so we can operate three major bands the first one is ultra high frequency it is uh, starting ranging from 0.3 to 3 gigahertz and super high frequencies from 3 to 30 gigahertz and the last one is extra high frequencies which will from 30 to 300 gigahertz so mostly uh, most of the applications we use this uh, frequency range from 1 to 40 gigahertz so these are all the three main bands which operate at, uh, in the highest end of rf spectrum already i have told uh, this microwave frequencies are used in high resolution of uh, radars so it is mainly used to detect and locating enemy planes and ships through an arrow beam of electromagnetic waves and uh, here uh, the table represent the frequency bands which will be set by us military microwave bands uh, the time of second world war and this also frequency bands uh, which will be defined by defense sector of us so we can uh, represent p band l band s band c x k q v w these are all the bands and the corresponding frequencies are listed here and this also are defined by us military army a b c d e f g h i j k l m so we have a corresponding frequencies mentioned here and next one is um, ie triple microwave frequency bands or uh, um, uh, define the standards of uh, frequency range of microwave frequencies nowadays we are using this one so 3 to 30 megahertz we are using high frequencies 30 to 300 megahertz we are using very high frequencies mm -hmm. in 0.3 to 1 we have uh, ultra high frequencies and 1 to 2 gigahertz we are using l band and 2 to 4 we have s band and 4 to 8 c band and 8 to 12 x band 12 to 18 q band 18 to 27 we have k band 27 to 40 we have k band and we can mention it as millimeter 40 to 300 and greater than uh, 300 
right so up to 3 to um, 300 we are using this microwave frequency so next one is applications of microwaves so uh, we know that uh, it is used in televisions and radio broadcasting systems and mainly it is used in radar and navigation systems in medical field uh, it is highly used to find tumors right uh, we are doing MRI scan, right? So MRI scan means magnetic resonance imaging. This MRI scan is used to detecting and location of tumors in the brain. So this microwaves is mainly used to find the tumors which is located in brain by doing MRI scan. So in MRI scan, uh, we use microwave cells. The next one is advantages of microwaves. So mainly why we go for this microwave signals means uh, it provides a greater bandwidth. So greater bandwidth means we can transfer more number of information per second through a single channel. And we can have point-to-point -point communications and low power requirement. Here in microwaves, we have higher frequencies. So antenna size will get reduced due to this higher number of frequencies. And uh, it is it can easily propagate uh, through the channel without any loss and uh, in this microwave frequencies uh, we use only few repeaters for amplification we know uh, don't need to locate more number of repeaters for amplifications so in this microwaves uh, we need only few repeaters next one is disadvantage the main disadvantage is it is very difficult to design and analyze and measuring techniques are more difficult and we can't to implement these components like uh, resistors capacitors and inductors and sometimes the transit time is more critical. So trans transit time means the switching time from on to off. It is more critical in this microwave frequencies. Next one is physical concept of radiations. So already I have told how it how the antenna will radiate electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic waves. So see here, this is a generator or transmitter. Here antenna. In between we are having a transmission line. So this transmission line acts as impedance matching. So it will, it will carry the information of electromagnetic waves which is generated by transmitter. So transmitter will radiate electromagnetic waves and it will send through the transmission line and it gives to antenna. So this antenna will radiate the electromagnetic waves into the free space, right? <coughs> See here, uh, we have the same directions of electromagnetic waves but here in the directions of electromagnetic waves are very different so we have different directions it is not uniform because uh, this antenna is having a taper transition so taper means the lines the space between the upper end and lower end is very more so we have excess space so due to that antenna will radiate electromagnetic waves in all directions randomly so there is, there is more chance for uh, direction will be changed so right so this uh, this is the way of uh, electromagnetic waves radiation which is provided by the antenna right next one is so this are the descriptions of uh, the above diagram uh, already i have told uh, transmitting antenna which radiates an em wave through transmission line to the free space and the transmission line act as interface medium between generator and free space and uh, this generator produce em wave and it will radiate power in free space is absorbed it attenuates it receives mostly in the free space it receives attenuated radiated power uh, what are all the parameters which are used to calculate the functions of uh, electromagnetic waves means radiation resistance and antenna temperature so next one is what is meant by radiation resistance so radiation resistance means antenna is a radiating device already we told in this radiating device in which the power is radiated into free space in the form of electromagnetic waves so in antenna the power is radiated into the free space in the form of em waves so we can calculate the power which is equal to i square rr this rr represent radiation resistance it mainly represent the radiation by the antenna and uh, it gives the relation between the radiated power and current is rr is equal to p radiate uh, radiation power radiation divided by i square it represent current it may be a virtual resistance so virtual resistance means uh, we are not physically connect any radi uh, resist uh, resistor we can imagine by itself that is virtually uh, we are having some resistor in the free space that is called virtual resistance so radiation resistance may be a virtual resistance so, antenna temperature 
So this antenna received two types of radiations. One is active radiations and passive radiations. This radiation increases the temperature of radiation resistance. Okay. So if the radiation is increases, temperature also increases. So we can define the antenna temperature as it is a measure of noise being produced by an antenna in a given environment. We can call it also called as antenna noise temperature. Here uh, we represented P is equal to K T A B. This T A represent noise temperature. So these are the basic equations of radiations. I L is equal to Q V Q V into this one. So I represent time changing current and L represent length of current element. Q represent charge and V represent time change of velocity which equals the acceleration of the charge. Shown here, right. Uh, listen, here we are having a side loops, right? So in this is called this um, uh, next two major loop. We have one side loops, right? Okay, these can be called as first null. So we should uh, draw a line to this first null and mark a uh, mark a point and mark half of its maximum radiations. That can be called as first null. So the distance is minus minus 10 dB. That is called first null beam width. Right. So angular width between first nulls or first side loops. It is the beam width that is minus 10 dB down from the maximum pattern. Next one is near and far field regions. So in this antenna pattern, we have three regions. One is uh, reactive near field region. Second one is radiative near field region. Third one is far field region. So this is called as a reactive near field region. And this region is a radiative uh, near field region. And in this direction, we have a far field region. Mainly in far field region only, we have a maximum directions, right? So the radius which is up to uh, R is equal to 2 L square by lambda. We can call it as a radiative near field regions. And this R1 represents the radius. It should be maintained a reactive near field region. So above uh, 2 L square by lambda, we have a far field region. So these are all the general descriptions of radiation patterns of antenna.